everyone, it's Catherine. So today I have my wax melt empties and you guys are probably curious, why is it empty? Literally empty. So I, <laughs> it's been a while since I've made this video and we're just going to show it all up right now. Oh my goodness. Watch this, watch this literally. This is all the wax that I have gone through since the last time I filmed this. When did I film this, Catherine? I, I honestly don't freaking know. So I have an amazing, huge wax melt empties. I have finished my no buy challenge for past three months and I'm so excited to buy some new wax. You guys are gonna be seeing me at the store. I'm, I'm ready to clear the aisles, okay? But let's go ahead and get through all of the wax melts that I have finished for the past month and a half i honestly it's been so long since i've made a wax melt empty it's um it's insane now that i have all this wax here i can just like throw recycle these packages finally it was just holding on some space that i didn't even need it to be there so this is going to be a super long video so if you if there's anything that you guys are like what does this smell like um let me know down in the comments below but other than that if there's more specific things that i kind of want to emphasize them out i will talk about it in the video the only wax melts that i particularly use are from better homes and gardens and sensationals and you guys can get those at your local walmart they always have them in america so the first one i finished up is flirtatious this one is a really nice one a little bit cologne -y, a little bit perfumey it was not too bad and it wasn't too overwhelmingly like a strong throw yeah this one is actually really good and i didn't mind it so i would probably do another repurchase we got iced lemon sugar cookies this one's a banger super strong thrower five out of five there is hazelnut and cream oh my gosh you guys hazelnut and cream is weak i don't really like her i was just trying to finish this one up i wish this was such a strong throw because honestly this one smells really nice on cold but it didn't really do much for me. I have Black Violet and Iris. I love Black Violet and Iris. It's such a sweet perfume. Really gives me pure seduction and love spell vibes from Victoria's Secret. This one's so nice, so sweet. And if you love perfumey scents, this one is the way to go. And then I also finished a Sea Spray Linen, one of my favorite laundry type of fresh cleaning scents to warm whenever I am doing a deep clean in my house or I'm vacuuming the floors. That's deep clean but this one's really good and i i really really like it i finished up a lavender lemonade tried and true love her such a sweet refreshing scent we have smoky gray mist one of my all-time favorite cologne scents super strong super like in your face but not too in your face this one's really nice and i love having this in the bathrooms and then i also finished up a cotton candy clouds Oh my gosh, if you love pink sugar vibes, this one is the way to go. And then I also finished up Zen. Zen is such a relaxing scent to put in your bathroom. You could put this also in your bedroom. My mom loves the scent and I also love it as well. We have a Sensationals Fresh Air. We did a lot of cleaning these past couple of weeks, so she was in here for um, amazingness. This one's so freaking good. Oh yeah, this one, if you love that strong, astringent laundry type of scent, Yes, 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 yes. I finished up another Black Violet Iris. We have Mango Sorbet Limoncello. I honestly warmed this up just so I could get rid of it. And I honest, I don't know. This like, I wish there was more mango than the Limoncello for me. This just wasn't one of my favorites. Then we have Blue Spruce and Tinsel. An amazing scent if you love cologne scents, especially during the winter time. But I feel like with this one, this one could like, you can melt this year round. Like there's no like specific like holiday, like Christmas time type of scent, <laughs> but I really do like this one. And then we also have Cherry and Balsam. Bal cherry and Balsam reminds me of Black Cherry Merlot from Bath and Body Works, but with a little bit more of like a tree notes into it. So good. And then we also have Festival Vibes. I have been enjoying Festival Vibes so much. This one's amazing. We also have Crisp Frosted Fur. I'm not really into her, okay? This is not my favorite. I honestly thought I did, and I bought like two of these, but it just really smells like Christmas tree, okay? But like with a frosty, like a menthol type of scent into it. So she's gone. <laughs> I also have a salted caramel buttercream. A lot of people have said this one is very coying, and I love the coying caramel part. So if you don't like a very strong, like, like a, <gasps> like a <laughs> type of scent, this one is what it is, and it's so good. It's one of my favorites. We also have Over the Rainbow. 
my boyfriend and my roommate love the scent. It reminds them of Skittles. So if you love packaging that's really cute, I think you'll like this one because it has a really cute vape though. And also that I really don't like this one to be honest, but they do. So I always have it in the bathrooms whenever they need to like shower and stuff. Next up, I was trying to finish some fruity scents up. Um, this one is Cherry Berry, a very strong imitation cherry. If you like cherry, go for it. If you don't, don't go for it. Next, I have Tropical Fiesta. Mm, it's a very strong fruity fruity medley type of scent. If you were cooking something super smelly, I feel like this would be a really good one for the kitchen, but otherwise, it gives you some type of summer vibes just because it's super fruity. It's a very strong throw, five out of five. Then I also have the um, Sugared Lavender Twist. Tried and true, I always talk about Sugared Lavender Twist. It's one of my iconic favorites. I always have to put this one in rotation. It's amazing. And then I also have Sunlit Strawberry Patch. This one is actually not too bad. Like it gave me like strawberry imitation vibes but it's not as bad as like the cherry type of imitation so i think this one is a really good one if you are into strawberry and then we also have autumn valley this reminds me a little bit of marshmallow fireside but it's very light i, I really don't know how to explain it but this is a very nice bedroom scent and also bathroom scent i finished up a sea salted sage one of my favorites smells like a very nice herbal scent this was like perfect for anywhere like this is this is really nice for the bedroom and you're just trying to get in the zen mode this one's really good and then i also finished up a red berry and oak red berry and oak it's one of my favorite oak scents just because it's very light but it does have a little bit of a fruity scent into it so if you are not into woodsy type of scents and you're not into tree scents try this one out this one is we got her, we got her, so amazing. I finished up a sweet pea. This one is so strong, like a four out of five. If you love sweet pea from Bath and Body Works, you are definitely going to love sweet pea in the wax melt version dupe of it. This one's really nice. I also finished up a pumpkin marshmallow cream. I love pumpkin marshmallow cream. It's very marshmallowy, very pumpkin-y as well. This one's so freaking good, especially during the fall time, but honestly, you can warm these scents anytime, but I just like to do it by seasons. I don't know. Stormy Indigo Seas from Better Homes and Gardens. Not my favorite scent, just because this one is a thrower, a monster. Super, super, I would say atrocious because this is not my favorite scent. Oh my goodness, this is intense. Like, it's so cologne -y. It gives me like a headache just from smelling it. So yeah, she's gone. She's out of here. Then I also finished up a Sugared Melon Kiwi. I actually wore this in my roommate's room the other day. He loves it. it smells like a Jolly Rancher, kind of like a Sour Patch Kid. A, a watermelon Sour Patch Kid, that's what he said. I also finished up another Fresh Air. We did a lot of cleaning. Then I also have White Pumpkin and Sage. White Pumpkin and Sage is such a classy, bougie pumpkin. This is what you would have melting when you want to feel like you got some money, but you don't really got some money. You know, this one's a really nice one. And then I also finished up Sensational's Hideaway. I don't know how I like about it. Like I mentioned a while ago, the Tangelo is just too zesty for me. Way too zesty for me. Then I also finished up an Island Coconut Creamsicle. I don't know if my senses are changing, but I used to love the scent so much last year, but now I'm just kind of indifferent about it. Freaking love coconut and wax melts, but I think I'm like starting to not like it because this one gave me a headache. So this one's really strong if you ever try it out. And then I also finished a Creamy Marshmallow Cocoa. Oh my gosh, this was like limited edition like two years ago. Oh my gosh, this was so freaking good. Or like three years ago. And I found it in a bottom of a wax bin. This is like a true chocolate gourmand scent. Oh, I wish they have this like year round, like a nice chocolatey scent. That would be amazing. Soft cashmere amber, so good, so amazing. A perfect bedroom scent. If you're just getting to wax, try soft cashmere amber. We have Amorado and Blood Orange Wax Cubes from Mainstays. My boyfriend picked this out. It was really strong. I didn't like it, but he liked it, so it's gone. Magic Mistletoe Kiss. Mm. I would say I like the blue spruce and tinsel more. This one is a little bit different. It has a little bit of a peppery note. I don't know. I don't know. I think I have a couple more of her left. And then I also finished up a strawberry pretzel bars. This one's so intense. This really smells like what it is. A salty. Oh my gosh, I get like the salt from it. Salty strawberry pretzel. Really, really divine. Next up we have Cuddle Up from Sensationals. A nice delicious tonka oud bedroom scent. I love it. I always will recommend it. I finished up a cucumber melon. Like I said, it wasn't my favorite scent, but when I warmed it up, I actually liked it. Mm, yeah, this one's really good for like the bathrooms. And then I finished up a walking on sunshine. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about her. Like, 
Yeah, she's just gonna she's just gonna go. Iridescent. This one is like a dupe of Twisted Peppermint from Bath and Body Works. If you love Twisted Peppermint, I think you'll like this one. And then I also finished up Honeycrisp Cider. Honeycrisp Cider, not my entire favorite. I think that they could have done a little bit better on this one. I don't know. I don't hate it. It's almost like a mold cider, but like, it's just like seasonal, you know? So I don't really hate it, but I also like it. <laughs> it's been a while since I warmed some of these wax melts, so that's why I'm just like, um, I don't really remember. Here's Coral Shores. Coral Shores is um, not too bad, but not too good. I don't know. It was very fragrant, so that was great. And then we also have Unicorn Cake. Unicorn Cake is a pungent blueberry bun cake if you love those type of things. Hopefully you guys can still find it because I think they're discontinuing this one. And then there's also Key Lime Cheesecake. Key Lime Cheesecake is intense. Like This is like very limey, very gourmand. Um, not, I don't know how I feel about her. Like, I, I don't know if I'll buy her again, which is what I'm saying. Like, it was good while I had it. And then for the last Better Homes and Gardens wax melt, I finished a Warm Spring Sunshine. This one was all right. Like I said, someone told me that this smelled like hot wax, but it was good in the bathrooms though, which is where I put it. So there's that. And then the last ones right here, these are the miscellaneous ones. These are from Aldi. These were like the triple melts that they released last spring. And so I finished up a flower shop. This one has poppy, sweet pea, and hibiscus. It's okay. Then I finished up Vacation Dreams. Vacation Dreams has white clouds, sandy beach, and blue waters. And then I also finished up Herbal Medley, which has aloe and cucumber, sweet sage mint, and eucalyptus mint. And then this one is the tropical blend, which is coconut, pineapple, and mango. And I think I finished up another one, but I think that's downstairs, so I completely forgot about that one. Yeah, you guys, that was basically my entirety of my wax melts. I have a lot to clean up. I need to go dispense them to the trash because it's trash day and I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed my wax empties the this was an intense one I don't know how I feel about making more of these videos just because like it stresses me out holding on to them but let me know if you guys like these wax melt empties and I can continue to do them but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys later bye guys